Right, Andrew. So it's we're, we're indoors. We're not outside on the bank. What's going on? It's too cold. We're being like proper technical and everything. We are. We're going for it today. We're doing a bit of a basic one, but to keep a lot of people happy, isn't it? We yeah. want to go through a basic. I'll ask in the top here because. I've not seen a proper one. I've not seen a really good one no. on the Tinternet ever. Definitely not. So Definitely we want not. to do that with sort of modern day how top kits are and components, but also a few little fiddly bits. I want to show you how I do my Dacrons. And also we want to talk about bushes, don't we? Yes. You know what I mean? Behave. Cheeky. <laughs> we want to talk about bushes because yeah. it's something uh, it, I see as an issue. Definitely, especially sort of this time of year, winter time, folks. Uh, Jamie got me on this and it makes such a difference with how your elastic uh, plays when you when you hook into these fish, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Just it's makes it work properly, that, doesn't that's it? That's a nice. No, let, let's let's go straight to that first. Oh, so, we're doing that first. Go yeah, on, let's go straight on. on to top end of the pole before we even start dicking about with anything. Yeah, the bush in your pole is massive, isn't it? Yeah. And my biggest pet hate in the world is that old type external bushes. The horrendous. Yeah, I used to have loads of mine. I used to love <laughs> yeah. them. Like, oh, wow, you can get green ones and red ones and all like different yeah. colours. I'm like, yeah, what a red one today. I, I do but, think they're the higher the, the, the top seller. I think they sell more than these. What, the ones that go over? Yeah, I think so. Ones. I think Andy Kinder saying once that really? he knew, but they shouldn't. To be shouldn't. fair though, Jay, in this day and age, with every poll that you get, they're pretty much all coming pretty come much anyway, don't they? Shouldn't they? Yeah. yeah, but if they don't, say internal for me is the only way to go. Just because it's, it's nicer, it's less subtle, it's more subtle. More subtle. More What's subtle. the word, Rich? More subtle, subtle. that's subtle. the one. And your pot goes over it, more importantly. Yes. You need your pots to be able to slide onto your pole instead of That's having that. That's why bit. I used to have my pot like a foot or 18 inches down the pole, <laughs> isn't it? Because it'd have to go. Right, get yeah. So yeah, internal bush for me is the only way to go. And with most kits, you're matching power kits. Yeah. So one nice one, it's going to come pre-bushed. They're just nice, they do the job, don't they? And, you know, the specifics of the diameters as well, Jay. What we're saying, like, usually it's sort of 3.2 and like a, a 4 or a 4.6 summit, isn't it? So yeah. matching power. Normally, yeah, if you shop about, you will be able to get because this is a number saying that poles are sold differently now but it's sort of a number two it's not it's a number one now but yeah yeah we used to get an extra section as well for you should pull them the out canal and days. Put plants up in the garden we did didn't we yeah, yeah yeah you used to have a pile just of them in your cupboard that you never <laughs> don't use. need them for anything but you will always get a bush that fits directly into that you're never going to need to cut that back no i mean not in this day and age you no. will find a bush that fits straight into the end of it also i'm touching on that subject with number ones not now really existing unless you get a specifically designed top mm. kit that most companies do. For me, I, I don't use the, the finesse type top kits. I mean, just so we don't need them. The, the matchy style, the, the real matchy style, I think the map do some as well. Like silver, yeah, we silver do the, kits or the, something. The silver kits, yeah, or so no, no puller kits in them whatsoever. You know, the old school where you got the bung in the bottom then you pull it back out and you and do, do they have like a, a number one do they as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that the old type yeah. of top kits, but because they don't really not, exist anymore. Not, yeah, we, we, you certainly wouldn't use them whatsoever really on commercials, no, would you? No, definitely, you definitely do this, not. What, this fella's going to show it you is, how. For, with your match kits, difference. if you go to your really light elastics, so your, your conventional 2.8 to 4 mil bushes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to fit all your hollow elastics or your, your hybrid elastics, your slicks, whatever. They're going to fit nicely straight away. When you get down to the much lower elastics, either the solid 8 and below, mm. or any even the hybrid elastics sort of 4 to eight sort of ratings. Yeah, yeah. What you find is the bush can be a little bit too big so your, your elastic doesn't stay central. It's a it's bit. It's like a swing tip, folks. I always wondered yes. why my elastic was always dangling all the time and then obviously you just pull it through and this is before the, the days when we had side pullers. Yeah. She'd sort of like get your number three Splits and sort of like time. thread it in like yeah. that. <laughs> and then uh, Jay, Jay showed me this um, about getting a, an internal bush and putting it in the internal bush and what a difference it makes. Yeah, for, for, for the old elastics. single six days, wasn't it? Oh, it's single mega. Sixes pressed in. Oh, that what? It is. Just I mean, amazing, a bush so. within a bush. Yeah. It, it's beautiful. It just centralises your elastic. You for them. Don't, don't need glue in. Let's just put it in. Yeah, just literally stick it. And actually, that goes in like that. Let me pop it in a bit. So I'll slide it straight in. Which one are we on, Rich? I'm going to slide it straight in. And most of them, I can actually pop that in a little bit. So it actually stays in. You know I mean, I don't want it poking out like that. That looks a bit obtrusive to me. I don't like it. So a little bit more. Are you ready now? I'd like that. Would you? You'd like that? It's an extra like three or four mil, isn't it? Is I it mean, a little right? bit? <laughs> no, no, honestly, I've done exactly what you've done. Pushed it in, and then it sticks in, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, what? Which ones are these? I think is it only Drennan that do them, or is a few companies doing them? I don't know. I don't know. I'm I mean, sure. I think there are a few. Again, it's with bushes. Pole master ones, I think they are. Folks. As long as you can find one that goes in one, and nice big long ones as well, seems to make a big difference. Having a long bush, yes, just seems to put it a bit further into the pole, centralise that elastic, makes it work so much better. It's with your like early elastics, isn't it? Yeah, I can't believe the difference how smooth it is. And you, so, you never get it dangling or anything. No. Anyway, onto the proper bit of, of elasticating your pole. 
And a big gripe that we have, before we do it, I've got here a lovely, Proper. shiny, brand new top kit, so it's gonna go through nice without the need for a threader. Yes. If you're using a top kit that you've used before, which nine times out of 10 you're gonna be, the biggest gripe in the world is people <laughs> removing the old elastic before they put the new stuff in. When when we see it in action, when when we're coaching, I'm like, oh, I just need to change that elastic over. I'll just go and get some out of my bag. And they're like, yeah, all right then, Andy. Snip it. I'm like, no, <laughs> what have you done? Because you know that that elastic, or the top kit rather, will be wet through, you know, from like, obviously previous fishing. And it's, you, you can't, you can't put elastic through a, a damp top kit without having a pole threader. And you yeah. have a pole threader, I ain't got a pole threader. If you do have a pole threader, it's lovely the first time, and then it gets, and then it gets stuck on that bit, doesn't it? You're like, ah, ish, 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 yeah. trying to get it through, you just can't do it. it is, so you've got to go back the other way and then thread it the other way, it's just it's a nightmare. Proper tricky. And this bit as well, the new roller puller age that we're ah, in, right, okay, yeah, yeah. makes them diamond eyes yeah, a pain to use, don't they? Yeah. So just <laughs> leave your elastic in. The old elastic is the perfect guy to tie yeah. your new elastic to, we'll pull it through. Yeah, just make sure you do it the right way from bottom to top. Yes. Because it definitely. goes through much nicer. Tie, nice. tie your bung on, because I've done it before now where I forgot to tie the bung on the end. You know, the pull a bit here. Have you just give it a through. big <laughs> one, it's just gone <laughs> zoosh, all the way through. <laughs> no, we'll start again then. It is not good. So, I want to elastic this socket for you. Yeah. Talk about component parts Pretty and first Obviously, Dead simple. elastic. I've got some elastic. I think I've got some, I think that's some green core. It's quite a, a low elastic, do you know what I mean? I think it's six to six to eight, that stuff. Maybe so nice you'll be using that for a few months, yeah. No, not yet, but that's just because I don't use that, so I don't mind wasting one of them. Oh, you're showing us your um, Dacrons? I've got my Dacrons that I'm going to go in a bit more depth with. I'm going to make one myself. Yeah, there's loads and loads of decent Dacrons on the market, yeah. but they're all too long for me. Yeah, yeah. I like little short, stubby yeah. ones, yeah. just so there's less fold over you. You've shown it, you know, we've done a few videos on it and you've shown what difference it makes, you know. It's similar to like just having a bead on. Yeah. Uh, but obviously the trouble with the bead, as we've shown before, it will eventually ruin your elastic. It wears well, elastic a little it wears bit it. quicker. Whereas the, the Dacron, it'll last a lot longer, but it's got to be short. Mm -hmm. you know I mean, you only get one go on it, don't you? You can't fit it again, but no. it does last a lot longer. One little tiny one. So we're going to go into that. But I'm going to whisk the last two first. So Great. the first thing I'm going to do, make sure to do this the right way. What's the right way, Andrew? Uh, the right way is that You're way. asking me? So What's the best thing I'm going to do folks? is with my bestest little tool in the world is whack one of these little beads on. These little beads for me from Matrix. Yeah. So Matrix do some lovely ones. Trenton do some lovely ones. And the Guru ones are quite good yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But these Matrix ones, mega, because they're so hard wearing so they don't pop in. And the first thing that's important is to use a large one. In fact, no, we'll come on to that in a minute. Oh, yeah, he's it's teasing to use us, a large folks, one isn't he? He's teasing us. At the bottom end, because I don't want you find with the, the medium ones, and definitely not the small ones, they can get stuck a little bit in the in the puller bung slot. So I don't want that happening. So, so you're using you, a larger you're one. You're doing large all the time. Yeah, the large box. one on the bottom, that's what does it. So I'm yeah. going to put my little best tool in the world in, my diamond eye threader that's little and tiny. It's, folks, Rich, get in, get in. We get like in on me. That. He's not, he's not got his glasses, he can't see. Oh, he's done it, he's done it. I can see this sort of stuff, it's going to be I can't see, so I'm going to pull that through. <laughs> Pop, and he's done, and I'm just going to tie a quick loop on that. Now, have you ever found, um, certainly with this elastic, in like latex back in the day, that it's so stretchy, even like, you, you do a few like granny knots, I know you love your granny knots, yeah. and you pull on that tight, that it goes through, you've got to be careful on it sometimes, with light elastic, yeah. haven't you? With, with this loop, there's not too much stress on it anyway. What loop did you do? You did that, just he's done it loop. already, which just, loop did you just do? Just one little over loop, let me do another one, just one around, just a, a loop and a one off. Ah, right, okay, What's yeah, that yeah. called? Just an overhand loop, isn't Overhand. It? It's, yeah. a, it's a, a, a line loop, isn't it, that we use for our left. One of them. And cut it in flush, but I'm going to alter that anyway in a bit. Yeah. So that loop. But I like having that nice little loop so I've yeah. got something to grab hold of. Yeah, nice little small no, loop. You don't want to give it a snip? I like no. having two prongs like that. Do you? Yeah. Do you know, I like having a little loop. <laughs> yeah, I like so that. with him done, next thing, and we'll talk about this while we're here now. Yes. It's threading it through me puller bunk. Yeah, again, in the modern era of top kits, We've gone through so many different phases of bungs, haven't we? Where we've yeah. got the solid bungs that go in your pole, fixed there, and the elastic's at a fixed point, you can't pull on the elastic. Yeah, for me, gone on it. When you're putting another section on, nope, another section required, one of them, yeah. 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 The, the old type bungs, you, you want something that you can pull, definitely, so you can shorten the length of the elastic. You could go for the, the puller, lungs that, puller bungs that go in your base. You know what I mean? A great option if your top kit's not fitted with a slot. By far the best way. Definitely. And obviously there's a lot of, uh, you know, sort of pole repairers out there. Uh, if you haven't got this set up, they'll drill it for you and wrap it and all that. Yeah. It's, it's a lot so of systems more... you can buy now, isn't it, with a, a 
wrap a carbon yeah. and fit the cycle. It's so much more efficient to have that. I was going to say advantageous. That's not even a word, is it? I like it, though. You like that? Let's go with that, That's yeah. what I was going to say. Like, I was going to get Jay to demonstrate like that for you. Because like, when you're playing fish, how Jay's got his hand there and his arm yes. is fixed on his forearm. So you're pulling that. Yeah, that's the it. The old days of doing Rather this. That, I used to always like, pull it across <laughs> my chest and my elastic would be all wearing because I was doing yeah. it on my you're chest. Yeah. Grabbing it getting snarled up in it. No, yeah, brilliant. Yeah, the, the other the thing as go. well, Jay, um, if it's dangly, you know, if you've got it set dead, dead loose, you can just pull it through rather than if it's dangling there, you've got to sort of like get your number three and like thread yeah, it on. Yeah, thread it through your number three like that. He'd be catching like three fish. I'm like, no, oh, I can't get it in. <laughs> no, it's just an absolute nightmare to do. It is so much more efficient, isn't it? It's to have yeah. a side mounted, side pullers, isn't it? That's what they're called now. Side, yeah, side pullers, yeah. isn't it? That's yeah, yeah. by far the best way to go. But it dictates how you put your elastic through mm. because you've got a roller. In, in the Matrix's cases, we've got a little roller bead in here that the last has got to go Oh, is around. there? There's a roller in it? Yeah, a little tiny roller in there. Oh, good. We'll do right. a zoom in a is bit Is it one of them one. noisy ones? Zzz! So you know when you got zzz, when you know we've got fish A on. little subtle, just, no, oh, just so you know Sneaky, about. isn't he, folks? He's sneaky. But that dictates that I have to start at this end when I'm threading my elastic. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I can't come back through. You'd never, ever get it round. It'd yeah, be yeah, a, yeah. a pain in the bottom. So, with my bead on, I'm going to turn my tuck it upside down. Good way. And literally, if I just thread it underneath that roller bead, really, really simple, and then you can just pass the elastic down. How good is it? New top kits. New top kits are lovely. I went in the loft, especially thinking I'm not doing an old one. <laughs> but it just looks more professional, doesn't it? Yeah, it? I like that, mate. I like that. So I'm going to thread him through. Nice, new, sexy elastic. That's it. He's out. He's out. Yeah. Pull him through. So we're lack of space, so we've got to do everything. Hold that one for me, Andrew. Cool, mate. And then with that done, we go through the next one. Yes, we're loving that. It's the bit of the, the dangle at the end, folks, because it gets stuck on the uh, on the stump so Yeah, you've just got to give it a little little, little, switch little on the tap end. on it. Oh, Here yeah. we go. He was well behaved that one. So top kit threaded, ready yeah. to go. Next thing I want to do is fit me dacron. Go ahead. And because I'm fussy, I want to make my own, just because there's nothing perfect, but for a reason. I mean, I know to be exactly what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To, to be perfect, to be how I want it it'd upset too many people, it wouldn't be marketable, so it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just me being fussy, same as always. But, to make me the, the Dacron, the first thing I want to do is find the right material. And I'm very, very fortunate in that whenever I get to go down to the Matrix offices, we have a big uh, room with all the carpy stuff in, with all these fancy carpy <laughs> lines. So I've often borrowed one or two just to find the right Dacron. And that stuff, the, the Camatex that I'm using, it, 35 pound, go ahead. 35 pound Camatex, which right. is a coat of braid. Yeah. And it's just right. It's just You're not stripping anything off or anything like that. No, nothing, nothing fancy. I'm not using it for it. I think it's a hook length thing. What is it, Rich? Yeah. Is that a hook length? Is that a carpy hook length material? I thought you were like, supposed to strip it back an inch and put a number four shot on it and all that, Rich. Oh, yeah. For pop Look at him. He knows the shit. He does. But whatever. We're not using it for that. We're using it for something better. So, yeah, that has been for me the perfect material right. to make me dacrons with. Nice. nice and supple, but abrasion resistant as well because it's coated. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's yeah, not going like to do. So, next thing, I've got it ready to go. What I want to do now is make a loop the size that I want my Dacron to be. I mean, there's only going to be three mil, two to three mil of yeah, Dacron right inside sure. the bead. Yeah. So I want to make the length of this loop pretty much dictates the length of the, of the Dacron's going to put you in your granny the bead. Are you doing your granny now? I'm just doing another overhand loop. Over loop. So just double it up, simple as, leave yourself loads and loads of tag end. Yeah. yeah, vital you have that massive big tag end because that's going to help you pull it through the bead later on. So I'm just going to tie one little overhand loop and I'm going to try and do it without using my mouth. Yeah, I'm liking that. One over and loop, dead, really simple. And I'm going to pull that down so it's tiny. Yeah, it's probably going to be, what, 10 mil the whole loop? I'm going to get a bit of Andrew scissors that we borrowed. Fiddly as. Pull it down, nice and tight, pull on both ends. Yeah, just to make a lovely, firm knot, and I've just got that nice little loop. Nice. Like yeah, that. but that knot isn't going anywhere. Yeah, yeah. And I think because it's coated, because it's got the... Proper grips in, doesn't it? Sticks yeah, in. like, what, what is it, Rich? Is that like a PTFE coating or something, or a silicone type coating? Final. It helps it. <laughs> it helps it grip. So next, leave that great big tag end. Yeah, and I'm going to get rid of him. So I'm going to cut the first one flush. So I've just got my little dacker on there, ready to go. And he's nice and straight, nice and neat. So next up, so forget about my bead, I don't need my bead yet. Which one looks the nicest? Oh, right. oh yeah. I'm gonna yeah, go with that one. Them. I'm gonna go with the one that I've just done, it looks quite good. What uh, bead size as well, Jay? So you've got a large one for yeah, small. um small. No, medium. Medium, medium, medium one for me dark right, ones. Okay. Unless I was on if I was on this this sort of game. That'd be a little bobby one, wouldn't that'd it? That'd be a, a small one if or I was on. Or even a stone flow. You're on the stone flows on the stone flows on. We want to go back in time. We want them black ones and um, ones that you put in and wind. Ooh, some of them on them. 
the windy route. Yeah. Don't start us off on that. So I've got my bead ready to go on me on me pullery through it tool. I've right, done that yeah, the right yeah. way. Yes, I've done that the right That's way. It's like a diamond that I thread a book. But a little smaller. One. I like that. Just They're the bestest there. things in the world. And before I even come near that, this is why I've left the tag end on. I'm gonna to attach my to elastic. Yeah, so just by threading my elastic through. I feel the granny not coming on, Jay. It's coming. <laughs> yeah. But it's got an extra twist to it. So I literally, I put a granny knot in. Yeah. Yeah, but then I twist this and put it around that way. What? Yeah. What's so that knot called, Rick? That is not a granny knot. That's like it's a It's like a granny inch. knot, and I'm just going to pull Double that down once. Knot. Yeah, and I'm going to do another one on top of it. Yeah. So you're never worried about like the elastic frame, anything like that? I suppose, well, new elastic. It's, it's weirdly, this one's hollow elastic. I definitely find that with hollows and proper solids, all type solids, yeah, that they fray more when yeah. you tighten down to them. Definitely. You know, I've not pulled that too tight so it's not frayed. Yeah, yeah. With your slicks and your hybrids, they're so much more durable. As long as you goz on them, as long as you make them wet. They're a nightmare to like, tie knots in, I find. So, you know what I mean? Yeah, they they're almost so don't slippery. want to. So I've ended up with a lovely little knot on that. Yeah, boy. Yeah, nice and right, happy. Right. I'm going to trim that. So don't trim it, trim it too tight. Leave a couple of mil, because you don't want this to pull through. Yeah, and then lastly, because I've still got this great big end on, have I put my bead on the right way? Yeah, I've gone from bottom to so the skinny bit to fat bit, I've threaded yeah, it through. Yeah, yeah. yeah, whiz in through, just whiz your tag end through, pull it on, really, really simple. And then if you see now, which one am I on, Rich? I'm on you. What I want to do is pull that knot through my bead. So give it a nice little pull. The knot will pop through the top end, slide it over, and we are good to go. So I've made that a little bit long even. That's just through not doing it very often. And I'm going to trim him down. And I end up with a beautiful Ooh, nice, little man. Dacron attached to the end that ain't going to go anywhere, but it's not too long to, to flop over. But I would, I'd make that a bit smaller even for my own personal yeah. Dacrons. And then but lastly... You've got to, it's how stiff it is, isn't it? Look how it stiff just stays, is. It just stays nice. It's perfect, mate. Yeah, it's, it's just... It's lovely. Anyway, with them done, lastly, setting your elastic. I mean, dead, dead easy, but more difficult with a top kit that's been used, isn't it? With yeah. A, a new so. top kit, absolute doddle. So yeah. what we want to do is put it back together, I'm going to pull all the elastic to this end for a minute. Yeah, so the, to what Jamie means by that, folks, is that when elastic's been used and already obviously a bit damp inside and got water in it, it just it sticks, doesn't it? So yeah, that's when you've got wet. to be by the lakeside and put some of the, like, that mixture that you put in just, so it does that nice and smooth. Yeah, even just take them in the garden and add loads of water to it. Yeah. I mean, put your top kits in, split it in half, fill it full of water. I mean, yeah. soak it. Yeah, yeah. And what you want then is your elastic drooping out this end a little bit. Oh, pull him out, Rich, while you're there. So we want him drooping down like that. Yeah. If we can get him. We got him, Richard? He's on it. We've got a bit of droopage. And what I can actually do is if I go back a little bit, I'm going to keep him there. The sun's getting me now. What I can do is pull on this really slowly just until that comes back into the tip right where I want it. And that's that point. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm going to stop my elastic there, knowing that that at that point is where it's right. So you can see it's retracting itself. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Whenever I pull it, it goes back in, which nice. is what I want. But just to make sure we've had no accidents, it's worth checking. And then I'm just literally going to pull my bead through. That's the beauty of these beads is that they just grab onto your elastic enough to not damage it, but I can keep on pulling them until it's perfect. So that is that at the right point? Oh. Nearly. I'm just going to give that another half inch. Yeah. Perfect, mate. So that's retracting perfectly now and goes in the right place all the time. And what I'll do, I'll just tie a little loop onto that. Another little quick loop and then trim that off and that is good to go. Quick way. And if you want to snip it off, that's entirely up to you. But for me, that is a nice... I want to go and catch some fish beautifully on Beautifully done top kit, isn't it? Lovely. We liking that? Yeah, perfect that, mate. Perfect, something like that. And it's dead easy. So what we mean, what we said at the, uh, at the start, folks, when your elastic's already in your, in your top kit like it is now, don't just snip it and then get your damn dye on. So you're using this bit here, obviously take the bead off to get your, your new bit of elastic, tie a knot in it, Jamie's granny knot, and then obviously put your bead on the other end of your new elastic and then just pull it through. Yeah. And then you're good to go again, aren't you? If I save that bit, we can do this with this, isn't it? It's just a case of forgetting about your bead, just yeah. discard your bead and tying that to that. Yeah. Isn't it? Tie them straight together and then yank your new elastic through. So easy. Really simple and saves you so much stress pulling them flipping diamond knife threader through which and I've I've also Ooh. given you evils because you've stuck your elastic in. no yes so, yes so. like that Jay on it mate isn't you there we go elasticating your top kit are we 